Hey there, no fluffians. Welcome to this video, which is featuring my app, Data Generator. I wanted to walk you through a product that I've, I've built for the App Exchange. This is actually in security review as I film this. So um, hopefully, sometime soon, there'll be a listing to show you and add to this video or add to the description, I should say. Wow, I'm great with my words. Um, Let's just dive right in. So Data Generator is a tool to generate mock data directly in your Salesforce or org. It is 100% native to Salesforce, meaning you don't have to go, it's not pulling anything external to Salesforce. It's just creating the data within Apex classes and inserting it into your environment. And this can be great for a number of purposes. It can help create test records um, in the configuration that you're looking for. It's great for sandboxes, great for building apps, testing them, uh, creating demo orgs with data. It'll save you a lot of time. And I explained in another video on this channel that I really built this because I had a problem building apps. I didn't have demo data. I didn't have something to help me put those records in my org. And everything I had read and uh, listen to pointed to external tools like Mockaroo where you could generate CSVs of the data then upload it and that was great if you had like a few records of one object type um, even then it was kind of tedious because any custom fields you, you had to name all your columns just right or um, or map them correctly uh, and then if you had a separate object you would have to upload that CSV then download it copy and paste the IDs, and then upload that second table. You know, the whole process was just very cumbersome. So I made this tool to make it easy to actually link records. So what? here's what, how it works. You, I mean, you can see right here that there's like a history of, you know, record generations that you've done before. And you can actually load in a previous example. Like I'll just click on this and it will load up something I've generated in the past. But if I wanted to start over, you know, by default, it starts with the account object and it will do 30 records. And I can change that. Let's say I want, I'm just gonna do five accounts and I can choose from any object, you know, I even any custom objects you have, you can choose from those. And you know, that's, that's why I built this tool. I really wanted that. Um, a lot of other things I saw out there did things for opportunities and, and accounts and leads, you know, a lot of those standard objects, but they didn't do it for custom objects and fields. Um, and then you can, you know, it automatically brings in your required fields. So let's say I'll say I want that to be a company name. And so the Apex class generates a random company name. They're, they're pretty generic. And then let's say I wanted to bring in, you know, I have an annual revenue. So that's a currency field and I can specify, you know, a, a min and a max for that. So maybe I'll say, you know, the max is what is that? A million. The min is <laughs> negative two. No. Uh we'll just say a thousand. And I can on these uh non required fields I can actually specify a certain percentage that I want to leave blank or null. Um, so I'm just gonna leave that at zero. I can add a child object to this account and so it will actually pull in all the related objects that are children of the account object which is great you know so if I'm looking for opportunities and I can even tell use the, the you know the field that I want to use or the, the lookup field or the master detail field that I want to use in case there's multiple fields so let's say I want to do opportunities. And so I can say, all right, how many opportunities do I want per account? I'll say two. And so like there's the name of the opportunity, this the stage name. So like let's say I don't want any in prospecting, but I want I want a lot that are closed one. And then for dates too, I can specify a min and a max, and it will randomly generate dates in between those two that are specified there. And I can continue, I can add another level, you know, what's a child object on the opportunity? And I have this custom one called you know, data samples. I was using this to actually test this 
app and so I have a lot of you know different field types uh, anyway when I'm done what I'll do is just click run and then it will create all the records and it will leave a, a little thing here telling me how many records were created the types and the date that it was created so I can reuse that I can even use this little trash can right here to delete if I'm like actually I did this wrong I don't want annual revenue I can delete the previous records that were created in this generation and I can edit whatever I needed here whatever I need to edit here and then run it again so that's my tool data generator um, I really hope it solves your problems in all the ways that it solved mine um, if you like this video please please like it you know give it a thumbs up and um, if you have any questions let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe